But it was a very clean start from pole position from Danny Juncker Day. He's on the left of screen alongside Dennis Lint pushing behind. And uh, third and fourth rows trying to get in on the action as well. But the first three stay tight. Kay Cosolino nipping around in that bright yellow Ferrari trying to see if he could gain an advantage. But actually lost out to Alessio Picariello around the outside between turn one and two. And unfortunately the team Gojigan Nissan spun around at the first corner. That led to the first safety car. Then the field was released and the racing started in earnest all over again with Dennis Olsen making progress. And then down the start finish straight came yesterday's race winning Corvette and unfortunately a little bit of a clash with uh, Hiroshi Hamaguchi and that put uh, Akira Aida into the barriers, high into the air and the cars, both of them, into the gravel. Cue another safety car period. It was all about controlling the restarts. This is another restart and unfortunately for Danny Junkadea, a tiny bit of contact from behind from Dennis Lind pitched his car off the circuit. He was out of the race and Alessio Picariello nipped into the lead. And then it was the timing of the pit stops that was crucial for so many drivers. Look, that number 77 Craft Bamboo Racing Mercedes came in with a, a left rear tyre. More of that anon. Rest of the pit stops nice and clean. Where would the car slot out? The 911 stayed out as long as it could before Alessio Picariello handed over to teammate Vutigon into Fuvasak, who took over in the lead of the race. And then it was that number two Mercedes all over again. More contact this time with the second driver on board, Zubij Wang. And around went Vutigon into Fuvasak and into the barriers. He was able to continue, but this 77 Craft Bamboo racing car, the one that came in with that uh, flat rear tyre, clearly some damage was done before in that uh, flat and round went Jeffrey Lee and out of the race. A long safety car period while well, that was cleared up. Good to see he was okay. And then when the field was released, D-Station Racing, Aston Martin came through second to the line, but the number two Mercedes in the foreground was to pick up a penalty because they didn't serve a drive through. That's dropped them to 23rd overall, but first place to the Aston Martin, second place to the two, and third place to the R&B Racing Porsches down from China. Well, a famous win on home ground, and you could see the delight on the D-Station Racing crew. Job well done, and credit too to the BMW that came through to fourth in a frantic, frenetic race. One hour with so much action, it's hard to know where to start, but you can never mask the delight of winning on home ground, and that's what it meant to them.